Welcome back to the family. This is Amy with our family encounter and we're talking about a subject that might be a little bit challenging. Talking about death and dying is oftentimes connected with I don't want to talk about that right now. That's not going to happen. I'm not ready for that. Yet there is something that is very important that we think about as in truth as we live because we are alive. That means one day we will die. Now, as oftentimes people think, is that a time to be uh, a scary time? Is it a time of loss? Is it a time of great grief? It can be. Uh, There are many people who go through that, but I think more often than not, death actually comes after a, a long illness. And it could be something that you see that happens slowly over time. And it's how do you come and become prepared for what that means when that day comes, when you think, okay, I will no longer have to be in this world. At our family encounter, we have these conversations with our clients to have them start to think about what is the idea of dying? What is that process? Is it going to happen real fast, like it's over in a blink of an eye? Or is it something that's more of a progression and as we as loved ones stand around and watch our family members maybe die in front of us or maybe they don't physically die in front of us but we're knowing that they are in the process of dying how do we support them what do we need to do so we can be with them or not for some people this whole topic of dying is just something they just are not ready to talk about for those who are with people who are dying it can be one of the most spiritual and beautiful experiences that they ever have the chance to witness when you think of living your life and living it full and in abundance the idea of dying in abundance is maybe something you've never thought of one of the things I love about this idea of dying in abundance is the services that are provided by a death doula. Now what is a death doula? I think traditionally we might have thought of as a midwife just like we would a birth doula uh, or a birth midwife. The idea is you have someone journeying with you through the process, the natural process of dying. They have the ability to come alongside and be there and let them know this is the next step this is the process they could be there to help with prayers or singing songs or to be a comfort to the family members as they're adjusting to the grief and maybe to the the illness that their loved one might be going through to have someone else come alongside and be kind of a, a person to be on the journey so your loved one can pass over to their next life. Many times this can be something based on your spiritual beliefs or more likely your loved one's spiritual beliefs. And they can can be that comfort that is needed and maybe even that sense of protection that's needed for your loved one as they pass over. Something that happens in our society today is we believe everything needs to be done by hospitals and by doctors. And the idea of having the hospital, you know, you go to the hospital, you you have an illness or you're sick and being told you need to go to a hospice or get palliative care. And then it's all based on what does insurance cover. One of the things I'm surprised at is with the new insurance, it's about seven days of care. So when you go into hospice, are you truly being allowed to die naturally? Or are there things happening that provide a certainty that if you cannot pay for the medical care, because obviously after seven days of Medicaid, you'd have to be on private pay. And if you can't pay the private pay fees, what happens then? 
Some people are saying they would rather die in their own homes. They want to be surrounded by their loved ones and by in a place that they know and love that's comforting to them. Having a death doula come alongside and be with your loved one during those final days can be that a very attainable and beautiful way to transition the concept of having a natural death. This isn't something to be scared about. It's something to be honored and to support as people have that spiritual transition. Many times, and I come from the Catholic background, so we oftentimes think a priest would come in and give last rites. Well, the last couple of years, sometimes priests were not allowed into the hospitals due to restrictions of that facility. How many people didn't get to have those prayers provided to them in their last days? As uh, Father Hottinger, Father David Hottinger from the St. Paul Minneapolis Archdiocese shared with me, when he goes to give last rites or to pray for someone who is dying, He's sharing that oftentimes he's seeing that they are so medicated that they're not able to understand what's happening. And I think in my belief structure, that is something that is dishonoring the value of someone's life, is not being able to be aware of what's going on. I understand that pain, that death can be painful, but that pain is truly, it's like a joy if it's given up sacrificially, or it's in preparation for death. It could be physically anguishing, uh, but oftentimes it's more difficult for the family members to witness than it is for the person going through it. And what he shares is that when people are medicated so much, they can't experience that joy that comes from meeting your maker. And he shared a beautiful story of a gentleman that he had seen and I'm, you know, I have to bring him on some day to actually share his story. Uh, but he got to see the man sit up and get this joy, this look on his face of just pure light and joy and going, I'm coming home. And then he leaned back down and he passed over. Being able to witness something like that, whether it's with a doula or with a priest or or someone of a spiritual uh, Uh, leaning is a gift not just to the family but to that person in their final days so what thoughts do you have because at our family encounter we want you to think about what do you need to do to prepare not just for living but for dying but also for passing on to your loved ones a legacy how would you like them to go through this process because One of the things I've been fascinated by my studies in the whole process of aging and aging in place and this whole conversation about dying is how you show or you pass on those experiences to your loved ones. What is the lesson that you want to give your loved ones about how to die with dignity, with spirituality? with honor what are those important things that you have that if you could pass that on what would that story be so if you want to know more please visit our website at ourfamilyencounter.com and be blessed and thank you for joining the family today